Hey guys, welcome back to the Piston Show. I don't usually like to start my reviews like this, but there's nothing nice to say about the Suzuki Jimny. It is flawed in every sense of the word. Uh, in modern times, it simply just does not add up because at just under 172,000 ringgit, it's expensive for such a small car. And it has a 1.5 litre engine that makes 100 horsepower. It has a four-speed gearbox. It doesn't even have a start-stop button. You need a key to start it. <laughs> it's uncomfortable. Uh, it has a two-speaker sound system. Two speakers, guys. It's something like from 1965. But I love it. I love the Suzuki Jimny. I've been driving it for a couple of days. It has character. It reminds me of a time gone by. There's a lot of things to love about the Suzuki Jimny, but if you're looking at it from a price point, it's never going to make sense. But that's the charm of the Suzuki Jimny. You don't have to make sense of it. It only has a top speed of 140 kilometers per hour. At 110, it feels like you're on a rocket ship. But again, as I say, it's, there's a lot to love about the Suzuki Jimny. In fact, when I brought it home, my wife, who is obnoxiously modern, she likes all the comforts of a modern car, she couldn't stop smiling when we, I let her drive the car. She just couldn't stop smiling. And even after she parked, she couldn't stop looking at it. The thing doesn't even have reverse sensors, man. So, but it's beautiful. It is fantastic. So I'm going to be driving this car for the next one week. And I'm going to be bringing you my day-to-day -day experiences with the Suzuki Jimny. And I'm going to tell you why that the modern world is better off because of cars like the Suzuki Jimny. In fact, I think if this was an EV, it would sell like hotcakes, but it's not. It's a 1.5 litre naturally aspirated engine, four speed gearbox, again, beautiful. But before we start to drive it, let's just jump in and just indulge in the basics of the Jimny. Let's go. Guys, what are some of the things that you consider when choosing a petrol brand? For me, I make sure that the petrol can keep my engine clean and also give me better mileage. I'm sure everybody thinks about this when choosing a particular brand. With BH Petrol's Infinity Ron 95 Euro 4 m you get precisely that. It has special German additives that reduces the amount of deposits that build up in your engine over the long term, keeping it clean. It also has improved friction modifiers that reduces the amount of friction that your engine has to go through, ultimately giving you better mileage and making BH Petrol's Infinity Ron 95 Euro 4 m the right choice. <laughs> so before we move forward with this, I just want to tell you a little story of an uncle of mine who is a doctor in Sungai Petani and he's quite a successful doctor. Uh, he has a you know a plantation and such, a very traditional man and uh, he's I love him a lot. I haven't seen him in a while, but yeah, he's he's a really good guy. Uh, so for many, many years, he used to, you know, move between Sungai and Kuala Katil, which is where his uh, uh, clinic used to be. And uh, he did so for many years. He did it in a Suzuki Jimny. And every time I see a Jimny, it reminds me of him. But his was, I think, the second generation model manual, back to basics, and an incredible car. So anyway, that's the, the, the joy of the Suzuki Jimny. You can use it day to day, just drive the hell out of it, practically bring it to the point of destruction, and it just will keep going. Anyway, this is the modern Suzuki 
Jimny. This is a Ford generation model, which was introduced, if I'm not mistaken, in 2018. Uh, the, why are we only reviewing that, it now? Because uh, the guys from NASA reached out. They said, would you like to drive the Jimny? I jumped at it. Hell yeah, who wouldn't want to drive a Jimny, man? And uh, this is the black edition. So the black edition gives you stuff like this. Nice you know leather seats it gives you a lot of stitching there's some carbon fiber around the outside it's just aesthetics everything else about the car remains the same so in here you get a single zone air conditioning um, you get you know stuff like uh, orange backlit dials orange <laughs> amazing i'm just head over heels over this this seven inch uh, touchscreen infotainment system over here. It comes with Apple CarPlay. Apple CarPlay. But it has two speakers. <laughs> Brilliant. And it has those ti tiny uh, wipers. It, it just has, you know, it has hill descent control. It has a single USB port. It has an auxiliary power unit, uh, traction control. It has this conventional four wheel drive system, hydraulic. So, I can't remember what you call this. Uh, anyway, I'm sure I'll think about it later. And despite it being so basic, it has cruise control. <laughs> so, it's a bit of an oxymoron here. But anyway, uh, it also has power adjustable side mirrors. And I honestly can't remember the last time I started a car with a key. <laughs> the key. So. It's a bit of a pain in the ass, but yeah, I said that. And it, <laughs> but oh, it's just so nice. Anyway, there's no not a lot of space in the back, so I'm not going to try and jump at the back. But uh, what I can do is I can go open the boot. Let's do this. So this is what I mean that uh, you know this is the black edition, so you get a lot of carbon fiber here. You get carbon fiber on the grill. You get these uh, roof rails and such. And it opens sideways like this. This fantastic. I could see myself driving this to 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 Thailand, London, whatever. It's brilliant. Anyway, what I really like about this car is uh, it has this, you know, easy clean, easy to clean plastic panels here, which just makes it easy to live with. Uh, so it's a very back to basic sort of car. And uh, can I? Can I carry this? Oh, there. There's more storage space here. And there's more uh, auxiliary power units there. Yeah, it's, it's one of those cars that just reminds me of a time gone past. Uh, fantastic, basic, very basic, and brilliant at the same time. Let's check out the engine. So anyway, uh, as I was saying, black edition, you get all this carbon fiber touches around the car. This is on the front grill. And just FYI, it doesn't come with daytime running lights. Just putting it out there. Anyway, uh, 1.5 liter engine, 100 horsepower, 150 newton meters of torque, top speed, 140 kilometers per hour. It's just not going to go anywhere fast, but that's not a bad thing because in a modern world where we are always on the go, always on the rush, we want everything immediately. Food is just a click away. Knowledge is just a search away. Everything is at the tip of your fingers. This allows you to just slow down and smell the air. That's the beauty about the Suzuki Jimny. That's the charm. Actually, it's a very charming car to drive. So yeah, I have it for the next week. It's gonna be a great week. I can't remember the last time I drove a car like this. I really appreciate and would like to thank Suzuki for sticking to their roots and continuing with the Jimny despite the odds stacked against them because in the modern world, as I said, this car doesn't make sense. But that's the beauty of it. And that's why I love it. So my wife and I are gonna go for banana leaf. 
And the thing about Fridays is that traffic tends to be heavy. But not only that, parking is scarce. So, good thing then we're taking the Jimny um, because of its size and maneuverability. Yes. <laughs> and the one thing that I'd like to highlight is check out how close we are sitting to each other. We're almost shoulder to shoulder. So guys, if you want to take a girl out on a date, I think if you do it on a, in a Suzuki Jimny, I think it'd be better because you're sitting so close to the girl, you know, things might happen. But if you're sitting in a bigger car where she's so far away, you know, the distance and all. So, yeah. In that sense, I think Suzuki Jimny is like the perfect Cupid, automotive Cupid. So, the one thing that I think we can all agree on is the Suzuki Jimny is brilliant in terms of size, especially in an urban environment such as here in KL. Traffic should be easy. It comes with Apple CarPlay, so we have, you know, our maps going on. I still can't believe that it's only a two-speaker sound system. Two speakers. But yeah. What do you think of the car? I actually quite like this car. You loved it, right? You couldn't yeah. stop laughing when it was about it, right? <laughs> because I actually enjoy driving this car. What did you enjoy about it? The size mm. and the fact that it's easy to drive actually, especially parking for me. But it doesn't have reverse sensors. Yeah, for me, that, that's okay. But the fact that it's easy for me to park at the small, small parking slots and all this. She usually drives a Mazda CX-5. So... But what is a family car? What about a family car? Like, right, can we drive really. to Ipoh in this? No, I don't think so. Why? It's... I don't see there's enough leg space at the back. Who should I sit in front, huh? Yeah, but still no so. <laughs> No, I don't think it's a... I think it's, it's a fun, yeah. everyday car. I would go to on an adventure in it. I would drive it to... That, no doubt. Mine. Yeah, no doubt. You know, it just needs a roof rack. Yeah. You put all... Chuck all our luggage on top. And yeah. then pray when it rains. <laughs> you know? And so... I think that's, that's the level of convenience that the Suzuki Jimny has to offer. You can use it on a day-to-day -day basis, you can use it on adventures. It's not very comfortable, it's not very fast, but that really doesn't matter, right? No, not at all. I just, the price and the two-speaker sound system, I think if this was about 110, 120, it would be brilliant. I think parents would be buying this for their kids to go to school and such. It's slow, so there's no real risk of, you know, doing stupid things on the highway. So unfortunately, today is the day I have to return this Jimny. You know, there are some cars that just stick with you in terms of experience that they offer. When I was younger, I used to look forward to driving the Mercedes AMGs, the BMW M cars, the Porsches, the Lambos, you know, you get the drift. Now, not that old, I would say slightly matured, uh, I really just appreciate the opposite experience, just being able to take it slow, just immerse yourself in the experience and live for the moment. And that's what I appreciate about the Jimny. It just, it's not bothered to try to overly impress you. The Jimny is just, it just says that, look, you want to like me? You're going to like me at my own terms. It's flawed. There's no, in terms of, from a modern perspective, there's a lot of things that the Jimny does not have. But it's okay. Because the experience of driving it its friendliness, its friendly demeanor, its practicality, you cannot just argue against it. And driving it on a day-to-day -day basis here in KL, 
it just makes a lot of sense for me, man. Um, it's quite fuel efficient. I've not, in the one week plus that I've had it, I've not had to refill and I'm still a quarter tank. Unfortunately, I can't tell you the mileage per litre because it doesn't give me the readout. Or does, no, it doesn't. So anyway, I like the size. It's just, these are the type of cars that make it, that, that are perfect for, you know, the urban rat race. But with traffic, with parking lots, small parking lots. And because it's tall, so you can kind of park it where you're not supposed to be parking it. I didn't tell you that, but yes, you can do that. And I love that about this car. Of course, it's not very big either. And the back seats are almost not usable for an adult at about who is about six feet tall. Of course, if you have younger kids, you have toddlers and all, you can sort of just jump out them at the back there. And it comes with isofix mounts, so that's great. You can put a child seat at the back there in case you want to go for a road trip. So, I love that. Besides that, I'm also quite impressed by the NVH levels in here. I really thought it would be quite bad. Of course, you can hear the, the drones, the whines and such. But it's not bad. I would say it's not bad. I think in, as far as NVH levels go, I know some modern cars have worse NVH levels than this. So full credit to Suzuki. Now, the biggest thorn on the side of this Jimny and for its distributor NASA it's not the product itself, it's not the car, because as I've said, it's actually quite a nice car. But it's the fact that the grey market also has hundreds if not thousands of Jimny's on sale. And they are probably better specified, better spec They're the ones that come with the push start button, you know, but else this still needs a physical key, you still need to fumble for your key in your pocket to unlock it and then start the car. I can't remember the last time I actually started a car with a physical key. So, <laughs> it has its... Oh man, I love it for that actually. Anyway, the grey market ones, well, they're the ones that have probably better features and such. But, when you buy brand new from NASA, at least you get a warranty. You get a three-year warranty I'm not sure whether they offer a free service campaign, but I know for a fact you get a three-year warranty. So in that sense, it's probably better buying brand new from NASA because the price difference is not much. This is the black edition model, so it's probably, it's about 172,000. Uh, I know there are some models out in the grey market that are at about 160, there are some that are 180. I know the older models, some of the older ones are also going for about 120. So yes, there are those that uh, are more expensive, slightly cheaper. But in this price range, if you're looking at one and in this price range, then you're probably better off buying brand new. Because, yeah, nothing like buying a brand new car, right? So besides all of that, I just love the Jimny and everything that it has to offer. Simple, it's straightforward. I, I still laugh at the fact that it comes with cruise control, but hey, whatever works, right? And uh, if I were to buy this, the first thing that I'll probably do is chuck in a proper sound system. Can't get over the fact that it's just a two speaker sound system. But anyway, as usual, thank you for watching. Do consider subscribing and let me know what you think of the Suzuki Jimny and driving it on a day-to-day -day basis. Would you buy a Jimny? Let me know in the comment section below. As usual, thank you for watching.